Wham! So, what is Minsky? Well, it's a relative of the software packages that engineers have been using now for decades to build dynamic systems. And what they realized was you could use the flowchart to build a mathematical model of a physical system, which is great for physical systems, but it falls over when you try to model financial ones, and I'll show you why. If I run this model, I know that the loan should always be higher than the deposits, given how I've set this particular model of a financial sy system up. And I simulate, and oh dear, something is wrong. That shouldn't happen. So I take a look around, and after a lot of labor, I'll finally spot, aha, I've got a minus here and a minus there, and that is not right. It should be a plus there, so there should be a straight minus going straight through. And I simulate it, yes, I got it right, whoopee. Took me quite a while to find that. Now if I go across to Minsky with exactly the same model, and I'll forcibly make the same mistake by having the same sign in two different accounts. And Minsky tells me over here, that that should sum to zero. And I simulate it, makes the same mistake, but if I did make that mistake, it'd be easy to go back and say, aha, there's my problem row, let's change that, and rerun the model, problem solved. Now that simple feature means that I know that when I design a financial model with Minsky, if the godly table shows zero in all the rows, there are no logical flaws in the way it's designed versus trying to work it out in something like that. That's a simple model. Zowie! Early in my education, I was lucky enough to come across Hyman Minsky talking about what he called the financial instability hypothesis. Why capitalism is a very creative system, but it, it's also a system which can collapse into experiences like the Great Depression. And he hadn't built a mathematical model of how that occurs. So I made that my PhD focus. And in doing it, I generated a, a model which had quite a remarkable outcome. And that was that a period of apparent stability led to a breakdown. Now this mathematically encapsulated what was probably Minsky's most famous phrase, the one you can see on my t-shirt here, stability is destabilizing. And when that paper was published in a non-mainstream journal called the Journal of Post-Keynesian Economics, I finished off with what I thought at the time was a rhetorical flourish. And I said that the chaotic dynamics explored in this paper should warn us against regarding a period of relative tranquility in a capitalist economy as anything other than the lull before the storm. Well, that lull occurred, we called it the Great Moderation, or rather the conventional economists called it the Great Moderation, and the crisis began in 2007, very much following the pattern that my model showed. Now, all the way through doing this, I have been dissatisfied with models which leave money, debts, and banks out. Conventional economics does precisely that. So I've worked out a way of building monetary models of the economy. So, we've got about, got to this stage after about a thousand hours of programming time to take it from this demonstration level right through to the all singing, all dancing, dynamic monetary way of modeling the financial system of the world. It will take another 10, 20 times as much programming time and that's what we need your help for in Kickstarter. So please, give us a pledge and we'll produce the best economics modeling software ever produced. And that will hopefully mean that economists never again lead the world blindfold into a crisis like the global financial crisis. And thank you in advance for your help.